Matthew 26, verses 26 through 28. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take hey, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. To help us understand this new covenant, we can go back to Jeremiah 31, where God, speaking through the prophet Jeremiah, said, I will make a new covenant, not like the old one, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. And I will be their God and they will be my people. A covenant is not a contract which both parties must fulfill their responsibility in order for a contract to be valid. A covenant is like a will. It is an assurance that certain things are to be done by the will of the one making the covenant. And it does not depend on the other party, but is solely the will of the maker. God observed that the old covenant failed because it depended on man keeping his end of the bargain. And he could not do that. Man could never keep perfectly the will of God. And so man is always guilty of sin. Under the old covenant, there was no way he could be forgiven. The new covenant did not depend on man at all. It was totally by the grace of God. We do not depend for our righteousness on keeping rules. The relationship we have with the Father and with Jesus Christ is not by keeping the law, but by loving Him. When we love God, we walk as He wants us to walk. Our lives reflect His love in all that we do and say. This, that is a new covenant, and it has forgiveness based on God's grace and hope based on Jesus' sacrifice for us. Having his law written on our hearts makes us want to love him and love and forgive our neighbors as ourselves. Let us pray. Father, as we partake of this loaf, help us to cleanse our minds of all other thoughts and focus on its meaning, which represents the broken body of Christ on the cross. Help us that it will strengthen us in the days and weeks to come to serve thee better. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
you are thankful for this time, this food of the wine, which is the worst of blood shed by Christ on the cross in representation of our new covenant with him.